almost a year ago, does 3D announce they they pull out any AI generated content of the store? They're not allowed. They was very strict. In a response to outcry of some artists, 3D artists who says AI are destroying everything, and seems like okay they have this ground but today they have an announcement and it says hey we have it does studio ai so they stepped on this market they introduced tool from there which will compete with their own product so in this video let's go look and check what they produce do they actually fool who try to join market too late or try to recapture or they have some clever twist on what they're doing and you can notice it is have a kind of model. So what they're doing overall, they're allowed to sell some models. And when you buy the model, you can use it after these 3D applications where you can import the model, it's 3D model, and you can of course modify, you can readjust pose, change class, color, do all this stuff. By itself, the studio actually almost don't produce any 3D content. Almost every content, what you see right here, would be specific models, texture, clothes, lighting, props, landscape, anything, it's produced by independent artists. So does Studio, does 3D, it hub who sell those. And it's actually a very good hub. I sell some of my products there. And you know what, it, it's make money. Some people make living actually out of sell models here. And of course, it was a big concern about when what's happening with AI. Does the AI take some of this? Because people don't need why I should buy 3D model when I can go in a mid journey and I type their text and receive effortlessly almost any image I wanted. Why do I want to use it, the studio? And it was legit concern and tell you true, I suspect based on my friends who sell some stuff there and my own, the sales was a little bit declined because the interest is lost. So what it does, the, did that time they actually i think they have it work something behind it took them a year at least to create and now they come up with their own ai that you can create online okay so let's go ahead and see what it is and you notice this is the studio does ai studio it's not just the application and you can just go and describe you have it free i think it's like well, look, I think it's like eight, maybe 10 images you can create for free or you can purchase for four months, which significantly low compared if you look on a journey, which is about $30 a month. So it's much cheaper than that or other services you can purchase and you can create. Um, I think it's only limited to 800 images. So you don't have a lot of images to render, but you can create it. We're going inside there render itself and you notice right here on the left you actually have it models product victoria and michael it's kind of interesting so they have it their model what they're creating and using and if we're going back to the page where they explain how it's work you can see right here you can select characters notice it is the studio characters the studio environment the studio lighting and everything so it's meaning they're creating models or most it will be correct the loras which is update to the models based on the specific products and by selecting you actually can render those products in your scenery well let's check what we can do right here example we're going to select the michael and let's go say knight slaying the dragon well, just all of this and click generate when we generate it it still let us work and again i'm on a free version and it's a low priority when we do on a free version but till it's generating we can go back and just check what is also do and right here you can see you can select characters whatever they have it you have it environment you have it lighting you can add all of this and base it you can create the image from um model you selected it's actually, I think that is a very, very clever idea. It's not the new, new idea they created. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by this, but it is very clever. And you can see some functions is implemented. And of course, upscaling history. Right now, we don't have a safe history. In painting, image to image, it's implemented probably in the future, um, but not yet right now available. 
Okay, let me go back. And right here, you can see we generated image. It a Michael it definitely does figures and it's look very much like a does product. It's what you usually create inside the does studio. We're going down in subscriptions and go all the way to the questions right below and extrapolating from this answers. I can presume it's work in some way similar to what I do with printing. And what I mean printing, if we go look on some products, you'll notice you have an optional license and optional license in some you'll have it use it for um, like video games. You can have it license. You can use it uh, 3D printing license and most likely you will have it or license or it will include use it for AI work. So it's meaning when you purchase model and you have a special license allowed you to use it inside the AI engine, you most likely when you go back here and you'll have it, your models appear for you in the list and you can select. It's a very interesting idea, but let's go over the pluses and minuses. A big plus, I think that is a very clever idea to preserve the 3D artist market, 3D creators. So it's meaning when I create, when I create some model, anything, I know that this model, of course, could be stolen. So is anything, you know, but can be used other ones. But beside that exclusivity of use it for AI render inside the does AI. So that is actually nice because I secure somewhat my market. How will I achieve this? Te technically, probably they will create a LoRa for every of the model or for every model, the one you use it and implement. So it is not revolutionary, whatever they're using, it's already done. They just only optimize for their specific content. And that is nice for the 3D artists so they can create and they kind of can secure. Let's speak right now about a little bit bad stuff. And this is pro could be very potential killer of this application. And what I'm meaning by killer of this application, we're going back to this interface. First, when you look on the interface and ability what it can do, it is too little and too late. Right now on the market, way more sophisticated interfaces you can do it. I don't see even they try to implement any of control net or control the posing because of one of the power inside that studio that I can go inside here and I can modify, I can create specifically pause what I wanted. You can do same with stable diffusion by using control net. In this case, we don't have it. Some rendering also show me they're on the level of stable diffusion 1.5. They not even come closer. If we look on the quality of this render, it's not even come closer to SDXL model. Uh, we don't even speak about a mid journey level of the rendering, you know, no way you can come to this yet, maybe in the future, but right now, not yet that to that level. So how much uh, they can create this, no pause, very limited also arrangement, because when you create, you says, okay, I have it, this model, I have it, some ability, but now you lock. So you don't create any of the camera angles, also lightings and everything, which you can do in 3D. And, you know, interesting for personal experience, uh, working with uh, 3D um, developers and everything with modelers. Actually, interesting, I see a lot of artists, they going back to actually 3D away from AI. It's almost like, you know, when you have some very nice, sweet drink come out and everyone jump and says, oh, look, it's a so sweet, it's nice drink. But after time, it's become too sweet. It's too much same things over and over and you want your original something that you can customize. And that's what I feel to me. AI, it is over sweetened tool, which is nice to use and it's useful in many cases. But sometimes you want to go and have it hands on, feel like more that you can, uh, you actually creating by yourself. And let me put uh, for that the studio related in the quotes by yourself, because all those models, texture and everything pre-made it by other artists. What you actually doing, it is posing them, setting camera, setting light, sending a texture and do this. Well, in some cases, it's what photographers do. I'm a professional photographer and actually I don't make models. Somebody else made them. 
<laughs> real models. They have a down cut feed, so we have light, so we just take a picture. And this in some case, like digital photographer, you, you do this way. And it feels nice for you to create this way. With uh, AI, you kind of don't have necessarily a step, you step away and do it. It is too little, too late. That is what I want to say about this. They should actually did a little bit more um, initially how they launch. They don't have enough libraries right now. They don't provide enough customizations and options what you can do with models compared to other services. If, for example, you're going to like service Night Cafe, and if we look on a Night Cafe, it is give you more credits, so daily. For example, I have over a thousand credits I did not pay from Night Cafe because they give you constantly. So you collect more credits, you can create better art, more interesting compared to the does. And beside that, let's go like create. And you notice right here, we have a different models and we also have a pose, we can import image and it's all for free. So you have it your credits, you can create this for free, easy. You don't need to pay four dollars or anything. So this is, and this is just one competition, and it's way more. Mage that space, and I, how say I can name them a lot of them, tons of them, which is very strong competition. So now you enter too late on the market. I still think the power of the Daz Studio and uh, Daz 3D it is in this hub for the artists and creators. Uh, will AI stick around? I hope so, because it's given another portion of revenue for the artists and for the creators as well. But it could be another flop like does try to do with NFTs when they push it. So they invest a lot of NFTs and it's literally, sorry, it's flopped. It did not produce. Some people may still use it, but it's not what's supposed to be. Do you think that actually it will work? You know, go ahead. I'll provide link down below for you. If you're not familiar with DAZ or one experiment, I will provide link down below to this AI studio. So you can go by yourself, try it. It's free version. See what you think about quality, how well it's work, what is can generate it. It's not yet out. You actually don't have a generation generated history or other things. I think they rush it prematurely this. But I don't know. We'll see what's happening right now. I'm excited about opportunities, but I'm really worried that is again too little and too late. Thank you for watching and have a great day.